So in 2.1 and uh, 2.2, we started uh, annuity immediate and uh, annuity due. Uh, now we are going to move on to study uh, a new type of annuities. Uh, they are deferred annuities. So uh, deferred, we can further separate uh, those into uh, deferred annuity immediate and uh, deferred annuity due. So basically, uh, those are highly similar to, to the two classes we already started. Uh, with the only difference being that uh, the first payment is, uh, is, is deferred by, uh, here we have by N periods, okay? So uh, you still have N payments in, in this annuity. So you are still expected to receive N $1 payments over the next many, many years. But however, the first $1 is not paid in year one, it's actually paid in year n plus one, okay? So uh, that's refers to the annuity immediate. So again, let's, let's just draw a timeline, okay? So it's deferred by n periods or n years, so I directly claw all the way to n, okay? So starting from n, or starting by the end of n, I will begin to receive payments. So the first payment will be made at M plus one. So that is my first payment. And then I will get my second payment down here. Okay, continue until M plus N, right? Because there are N payments. So I'm expected to receive N payments and uh, uh, those N payments will be scattered over N times from M plus one all the way to M plus N. Of course, if it is a deferred annuity due, the first one will be here. So try glue. If it is annuity due, so due is in blue. So I will get payment here, here, all the way to here. So let's let me label this as n plus n minus one. Okay. So everything looks highly similar to what we already started. So uh, when, we, when we look at the pricing, or when we look at the present value, we still want to know the value at time zero. Remember, no matter uh, what you do, uh, when we speak present value, it's always at time zero. And when we speak accumulated value, it will always be at the end of your last payment. So, at the end, at the end of your last payment period is here. So we are looking at only those two time points. Uh, by the way, it's possible to study anything in between, right? Once you know the time at the zero, I can go to this time by times one plus i to m plus two, right? So go to anything I want, okay? So that's very easy to do. Uh, so now, when we look at the present value of a deferred annuity immediate, what, what can you use from the formula of annuity immediate? What can you use from the standard one? So in other words, I'm asking you to study the connection between the deferred annuity immediate and a standard annuity immediate. Right. If I have a standard one, it will go from one, two, three, all the way to n. Right. So it will be somehow like this, but not at that time. Right. So it will be shift m years forward. So when we do this, it's very obvious that they differ by a factor, and that factor is exactly the discount factor over the deferral period, okay? Uh, of course, there's another way to, to understand it. Uh, let's use different color to, in order to get to be understand. So uh, I, I match those two timelines. So the pink one and this uh, somehow odd color, uh, they match on the timeline, so they match. Okay, 
Uh, but instead of say this is n plus one, I say this is one, this is two, all the way to n. Okay. So if this is a regular or this is a standard annuity immediate, I know at this point, at this point, I have a angle n, right? That is by definition. If I have one dollar here, one dollar here, all the way to one dollar here, right? So this is a angle n. So that is the present value of a standard uh, annuity immediate. So this is at time zero. So now you can do the same thing, right? So if we consider everything, but instead of looking at time zero, we look at the value at this point. Okay, so the value or the present value of this sequence at time m is nothing but a angle n. Is that clear to you? So I can convert everything to this point instead of to zero. Okay, I would do zero later on, but I want to do it to this point first, to the end of year m first. Okay, according to, to, to this idea, if I convert to year n, the value at that point is actually a angle n. It's nothing but the present value of a standard annuity immediate, right? Now, I still want my value at time zero. I just need to discount back by n years. That is why I have this formula. So if you understand the timeline, it's, it's, it's rather straightforward, right? So if you have the deferred annuity due, is the same, right? Except this discount factor will be applied to the similar annuity due, right? So if, if I have this case, uh, pick another color. If I have this blue case, right? What I need to discount is still to this point, but now what I have is a double dot, right? Remember when we when we when we when we speak a or a double and uh, double dot is you want to know the value at the beginning of your n payments, right? So in this case, the beginning of n payments is exactly time m, and still, if I want to know the value at time zero, I simply times by the corresponding discount factor. Uh, of course, we already know what a angle and uh, a double dot angle are. So uh, if you want to put it in a nicer formula, of course you can. Um, examples? So let me use the textbook to see what examples. So, um, so far the examples are, are rather straightforward. You know, the direct application of formulas, uh, meaning uh, I really, really expect you to, to, uh, to understand the application of formulas and uh, uh, expect you to be able to get the right answer for those questions. Find the present value. So we are calculating present value at uh, time five of regular payments of $500 at time 15 years, 16 years, and so on with the last payment at time 30 years. The annual effective discount rate is 4%. Okay, so let's do this question. This question is not easy, actually. So, time lag, time lag. Uh, I want to know the present value at time five. Okay, not time zero. So that's important. I want to know, uh, let's put this at time zero. So let's say here is time five. So I want to know the value at this point. Uh, when am I going to receive $500? Time 15 years. I'll say I will receive $500 here. 500 at year 16, all the way to time 30 years. Again, you know, the scale is not important, right? Obviously, this is not to the scale of 30 years, uh, but nevertheless, it's easy to. Uh, to get a get an idea of what the question is about. Uh, another thing I want to mention is uh, the rate we have is discount rate. Okay, so well, you know, if you if you want, you can convert this to V, and then from V you can get I. Uh, this is 
slightly different, right, to what we usually do because we usually apply formula to time zero. But nevertheless, you know, it, it really doesn't matter, right? Once you draw the timeline, you easily understand. So first thing you need to figure out is what is N? How many payments are you going to receive? Okay. Um, there are different ways to do, right? So you know from 1 to 30, there are 30 payments. Okay, but from 1 to 14, I don't receive anything. So in total, there are 16 payments from year 15 to year 30, okay? Um, please find a way to, to do this difference. Don't use your fingers to count because for the exam, I may give you crazy number. Let's say the first payment is by the end of year 15, and the last payment is by the end of year 100, okay? Uh, you don't want to do the counting from 15 to 100, okay? Uh, so I know there are 16 payments. Uh, uh, how do you want to understand? There are, there, are, so there are different ways to solve this. There are actually many ways to solve this question. So first, let's treat this as a annuity due, uh, annuity immediate, because that is the first one we studied. which means we think this as the uh, payment at the end of year uh, 15. So uh, what I do, what I do first is I want to look at the present value at this, at this point. So that's the uh, year 14. So, uh, so here is year 14. So in the first case, I treat this payment as an annuity immediate. So when I calculate A, angle n i have 15 i so from here okay obviously you can convert to i okay so this is the pv at t equals 14 okay uh actually 500 so i should times by 500 dollars okay what do i want i want to know the present value at time t equals 5 so what do i do the present value at year 14 discount right uh, discount by how many years nine years right uh, from zero to 14 they are 14 years right the first five years you don't need to discount so it's 14 minus 5 so it is count by nine years so i raise the power to the nice so from here you can get the result right okay uh, that is one way to to see this question I can also treat this as an annuity immediate, uh, not an annuity due. Okay, uh, in that case, I will think this as the frame at the first payment to be paid at the beginning of year 15, uh, at, excuse me, at the beginning of year 16. Okay, so uh, in that sense, I can, I can calculate so let's use a more contrasting color. So this, so if I treat this as an annuity, annuity due, so this is the first payment, this is the second payment. When I calculate a double angle, it's at year 15. So 500 times a double angle is my PV at time 15 okay because that's that's what i uh, what i have okay that is the first payment now if i want to know the present value at t equals 5 i will need to do a proper discounting okay how many years from 5 to 15 10 years right i mean they are essentially the same you know they only differ by discount factor and that is reflected in a or a double dot, right? So uh, that is the same for pretty much most of the questions in this chapter. You can either understand something as annuity immediate, or you can understand that as annuity due, but uh, with slightly shifting of time, right? You just move one year forward or one year backward, then you get from immediate to immediate to uh, 
uh, annuity due. Okay. Uh, of course, this is deferred. Well, again, you can see this as a deferred uh, annuity immediate or deferred annuity due, meaning you can directly apply the formula if you want. Okay. Uh, there is one more example, but uh, that's pretty much the same as this example. So uh, I will leave example 2.6 to you and uh, uh, I will stop here for this video.